All right. Uh, today I'm unboxing a GAN 11M Pro UV edition. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But uh, yep, I don't really want to show too much of the boxes because of the addresses. But let's get into it. So got some packaging. This looks like a plain white center cap for the cube. Let's check this out. Uh, really focus, but yeah, looks uh, like the color white. Put that off to the side. Alright. They packaged it really well. Uh, I got this on eBay. It didn't come from GAN itself. So here we go. Uh, it's nice and shiny. I like the packaging. It's got like a rainbow effect to it. I'm um, pretty sure that's the box, not the plastic seal on that's surrounding it. So let's take a look at this. Um, yeah, I believe this is Chinese. Um, yeah, I don't really know too much. It says it's a cube, ages six and up. The brand is, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this stuff, um, but it is a GAN cube. Um, yeah, it has a little attention warning here. Not for children under three, I guess because of choking parts. But it's a GAN 11M Pro UV edition. So uh, let's open this up and see what we got inside. Uh, so I'll just score a little bit here. in the plastic. All right. So, it's, it's like it just slides right out. Very nice. Has a little card. Uh, yeah, it's got some numbers. I guess the card's kind of neat, little flashy effect. It's got some QR codes, I guess, for their uh, I want to say that's WhatsApp, I'm not sure, uh, but Instagram, I don't know, I don't really need that. Uh, we got this Cube Station uh, Beginner Tutorial, and maybe it just shows you how to solve the cube. A uh, little code, kind of like as if it was already uh, almost scratched, a little odd, but whatever, I don't need that really. Let's see what else we got in here. So, um, little box. Oh, this is kind of neat. Um, let's see what this is. Oh, it's the solution, but it's uh, Chinese, I believe. I don't know. Put this all up. Yeah, I guess it also has uh, some instructions on uh, adjusting tensions and stuff, and uh, different patterns, I guess, solutions. And then we got a nice little soft bag, I believe it's velvet, I don't know. It's a nice little bag. I don't know if I'd really use it though. And I'm not sure what this is. Oh, open this. Oh, okay, so it has. I don't even know what this is. Yeah, I, I don't think. I'm not even gonna. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't think I'll need it. 
has this little piece. I think this was just covering this little mini screwdriver. There we go. Alright, uh, what else is this? I guess it's on how to adjust things in the cube. Right, and it seems like it's gonna be pretty small. Um, but, I mean, I don't expect anything too big, but I'm not sure. Not really. Alright, I see. I think you have to push on these. So, well, that's kind of cool. That's interesting. So you just squeeze it and it opens up. But, it's. Is it glued in there? Oh, there we go. Oh! Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. What the heck? <laughs> That's like glued in there. Yeah. That's weird. Um, just push it back on. Oh man, I don't want to break it. Okay. This is a really cool uh, little box. I like that. That's neat. Alright. Get all that out of the way. So... Overall, it's lightweight, which is kind of nice. Um, turns pretty good. Um, aesthetically, I do like the bright colors. They seem to pop. I don't really know what the UV does. Um, Feel wise, it feels nice, I guess. I don't know. Um, the inside, there's like a plain clear color, I guess. I don't know. But you got your orange, yellow, like. It's like a standard Rubik's Cube, but it looks nice. Um, turns pretty good. There's these little switches in here. I don't really know what they do can leave a comment down below if you know what all this stuff does, but... Um, yeah, if you like open it, it looks like... I don't even know what mechanism, but it's kind of neat, I guess. Um, corner cutting, it's not too good at corner cutting, like... I mean, it can, but it's kind of hard. So like... Yeah, I don't know. Like, other cubes I have, they corner cut so much better. Like, it's manageable, I guess, but this... This is not ideal. So... Um, but yeah, we'll give it a... Scramble, and we'll see how it feels. Guess I'll have to adjust some of the... Things on the inside, but... Yeah. Let's give this thing a, a solve, see how it goes. Let's get my stack mat. Uh, I don't have one of those fancy things, so, um, this coupon paper should do just well. Uh, maybe I should connect it. Let's get some tape. I'll put it right there. Alright. There. Now I'm ready to go. So, I'll give it a little inspection. Okay. It does turn nice. I feel like there's like, I don't know. It, it does turn nice though. It's not hard to turn. Um, Colors are easy to find, they stick out. It's not too loud either. I like that, how it's not a really loud cube. Some cubes are really loud. I have an each sheen, I think it's called. It's an older one, and that thing is loud. It's also not as easy to turn, but it's a 4x4 cube. So that could be why. 
But this one turns pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this purchase. Okay. Uh, Yeah, this is this is really gonna improve my times. This cube turns really good. Like I don't even have to try like it. It just goes. Look at that sub two. Look at that time. That's like one of my PBs. That is really good. Like this cube is really good. Um I'd recommend it. Like it. See, some people they do like those middle turns. So like, yeah, look at that. That that is really good. But the the corner cutting though, I I just I don't know. It, maybe I have to adjust it or something. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. If you have any suggestions, like. I don't know what these things do, but it looks like maybe there's a hole there to put your lube. Like, But it, it doesn't seem like it needs lubricant. It turns really good. Some puzzles, when you get them out of the box, like they're greasy, but this one isn't. Um, yeah, I really like this. This is nice. I don't know if I'm going to put that plain white piece in here, because then people won't know I have a GAN. And I think it's cool if you have like the GAN brand there. I don't know. But yeah, I'm definitely going to have to use this in some competitions because this, I think this will be my main. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, you can comment down below and I probably won't respond. So yeah, there's the GAN 11M Pro UV edition.